Hiya foodie folks and welcome back to Michael's Eats. Today, taquitos. At least my version of taquitos. What's a taquito? It's kind of like a crunchy soft shell taco rolled up in deliciousness. I don't know, know how to describe it. I'll just show you. Before I get started, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, please consider subscribing. And if you like the shirt I'm wearing, you can check out my Teespring store where you could buy it. The shirt says, either you like bacon or you're wrong. And that's just how it is, folks. All right, taquitos. It's uh, basically taco-ish meat, ground beef, seasoning, salsa, um, garlic, of course, wrapped up in a little tortilla, brushed with a little oil, and baked. Maybe a little cheese inside, because cheese makes everything better too, so let me show you. All right, I already have the ground beef cooked. In fact, this is the same ground beef that I used to cook on a video you saw two weeks ago. It's really two hours later, but in your world, two weeks ago. So we got the ground beef. We're gonna hit it with a little garlic, fresh garlic, of course. I don't know, this is two or three cloves. It's probably not enough, but it'll do. My deli cup, love me the deli cups. All right, maybe a little adobo. Love the adobo. I do like the Mexican uh, style seasonings quite a bit. Now, here's where it gets a little wonky, right? I'm gonna throw a little taco seasoning in the mix. Not that side, that side. I don't know, maybe a third of a cup. Doesn't really matter, however much you like is good. A little bit of a granulated onion. Love the granulated onion. Now, here's a, here's a factor, your spice level. Do you like it spicy? Add more chipotle pepper. If you don't like it spicy, just add a touch. I like it a little spicy. I can't do it too much because Lucas, my eight-year-old, you know. I'm going with the chi cheese medium thick and choking salsa. Why? It was on sale. Woo! This is thick and chunky for sure. Eh, maybe half a cup. All right, now we gotta stir it in. Gonna do the old pan flip, because it looks cool on TV. Let that those flavors meld together, and then we'll make them. Stand by. All right, foodie folks, we're back. As you can see, we have the meat here. I have my pan already prepared with cooking spray, and our flour tortillas. I like the Chi Chi's brand flour tortillas, not just because they're always on sale, but I find, um, I find them to taste better for me. And uh, I like flour. You can use corn, I like the flour. So here we go, it's pretty simple. Actually, this is the wrong one. We're gonna move it over like this. We're gonna take a spoonful or so of mi meat mixture. Then we're gonna take our cheese, which should have already been open, but I wanted to open it on camera for some reason. Just shop right Mexican blend, because it's on sale. I always buy stuff on sale, what can I say? Take a little cheese, roll it up, put it in the pan, seam down, seam down. And we'll do it again. You don't want to overstuff them. Little cheese, not too much. Seam down. All right, I'm gonna go fast motion here. Enjoy the Mexican music and stand by. All right, foodie folks, we're back. You can see we have them all done here. Lined up nicely in our pan. Now here's what makes them crispy. You gotta brush them with a little canola oil. I like canola oil. You can use vegetable oil. I wouldn't use anything else. I wouldn't use saffron oil or uh, avocado oil or olive oil. That's all too tasty. This really doesn't have a taste and it makes it nice and crispy. You just wanna brush it. You don't wanna put too much on. Make it all glisteny. All right, folks. We're gonna put this in a 425 degree oven till it browns about 25 minutes. Refill your snack and beverage and stand by. All right, foodie folks, we're back. They are done. Look at how delicious they look. I'm gonna go ahead and plate them up and uh, give it a try. I hope you stand by to see how delicious they are. 
All right, footy folks, we're back. All played it up. Pictures taken for the thumbnail. That's right, breaking down the third wall, telling you how I do my videos. But let's get on with the taste testing. So you can serve them with sour cream or with salsa. I like the sour cream. Lucas likes the sour cream. Listen to the crunch. Piping hot. Let's burn the bejesus out of my mouth. Simple, easy, quick dinner. You can make them ahead of time. You can prepare them ahead of time and then bake them off when you get home from work. You can serve them as appetizers. You can serve them as dessert. You can stuff them with anything you want. Chicken, pork, turkey if you're, you know, weird. And uh, that's pretty much that. Hope you guys liked it. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. And keep on eating. See ya. All right, fishy folks. You're not fishy folks, and I'm not saying all right. Hi, you foodie folks, and welcome back to the channel. No. So, uh, what's a taquito? Well, it's kind of like a, a crunchy. It's kind of, it's not like that at all. Add more chipotle, chipotle, 